honeybees represent only a small fraction of the roughly 20,000 known species of bee. Their construction of perennial colonial nests from wax, the large size of their colonies, and surplus production and storage of honey distinguishes their hives as a prized foraging target of many animals, including honey badgers, bears, and us humans, of course. Only eight surviving species of honeybee remain, and they are found pretty much everywhere where there is at least some warmth for part of the year. Their plight of a reduction in numbers in recent years has been well documented, so we thought we should take a peek into their life cycle, which consists of four stages, eggs, larva, pupa and adult, and this entire process will vary slightly between species. The queen bee will lay anything between two and three thousand eggs a day, each being carefully delivered into its own honeycomb bedroom. Those eggs allocated to be fertilised will be interestingly laid into slightly smaller bedrooms and will eventually become male honeybees, known as drones. Fertilised eggs in their slightly larger apartments, no doubt with ensuite facilities, will become female worker bees. Three days after an egg is laid, it hatches into a worm-like form called larva. The larva has no legs, wings or antenna. A larva that is fed only royal jelly, a substance secreted from the glands of the nurse bees, will emerge from its cell known as the queen cell, as a queen bee. Other larvae, which grow into worker bees and drones, are fed royal jelly for just two to three days and then are switched to a diet of bee bread, which effectively consists of pollen and honey. The larva is capped within the cell with wax and will spin a cocoon around its body and eventually pupate. The pupa develops wings, legs, head, eyes, thorax and abdomen and will begin to look like an adult bee. After about 7 to 14 days, the bee chews its way through the wax capping and hatches out of the cell. The entire process takes about 28 days for drones, 18 to 22 days for worker bees and a mere 16 days for the queen. Once they are old enough to venture outside and grab their bee tax codes, they will be appointed duties pertaining to their rank. The worker bees will keep the hive functioning and depending on their age will play different roles in the hive. A young worker bee acts as a nurse bee, nurturing and feeding bee larva, as well as processing nectar, feeding the queen and making the caps and the honey. An older worker bee will be allocated foraging duty. Drones will only make up 10 to 15% of the colony, with their primary focus being to mate with the queen. Drones compete with one another during the mating fight, and once a drone mates with a queen, it dies shortly after, so it's pretty tough being a male honeybee it seems. The queen bee is the star of the hive and the largest bee in the colony. She is the only female bee with fully developed ovaries and therefore capable of laying eggs. Whilst sitting on her throne and travelling amongst her subjects, she will release pheromones to regulate the colony and keep everyone in the family as happy as possible. And as their life journey continues together, so too will their life cycles. Thank you for tuning into this episode, and we look forward to seeing you back here on the channel very soon.